What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy CJ Swag. CJ, what's good with you? All right, so check this out. Uh, I'll probably get a lot of hate for this video. Um, a lot of it because I'm going to say some things that um, you may not agree with, okay? I would say for those who watch Battle Rap, um, may know um, this league that's called Push Your Pin Battle League. Um, it was actually on my um, Yahoo feeds, new feeds, and apparently, I don't know, this battle must have been viral, I guess, uh, because it was uh, this white guy named William Wolf and this black guy named Avenue C. Um, and apparently, um, in mid of the first round, if it was three rounds, I don't know, uh, I guess William Wolf said the N word. Um, he said my N, and then Avenue C punched him in the face. And I guess he getting ridiculed for it, apparently, for saying the N-word. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to say that's probably going to upset some of y'all, okay? I understand that, you know, the N-word is a strong word for some people, um, especially if, if it's used in different contexts. Um, I understand that. You know, it is something with African Americans, the stuff that we went through in the past, and slavery, and how white people treated us a certain way, and how that word is a very, a bad word to use against someone who's offensive by it. So, me personally, um, with that being said, I believe that I don't know what type of contract they had. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, before they battle each other, they I'm assuming they signed a contract of things they can say they cannot say. You know, they can't speak of their family. Sometimes people are really personal about that. Um, and I do agree with that. Um, I wouldn't want somebody to say my kid's name in their battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, as far as the things they say they want to do to them, uh, that's pretty risky. I mean, if you can't take that type of, like, you know what I'm saying, like, rapping, then you shouldn't be in battle rap because that's what battle rap is. Um... I don't really like battle rap like that. We talk about people like, killing the, like the family and messing with the kids and all that crazy nonsense. I'm not. I don't think I can handle it as being a battle rapper. I, I'll watch it and it's entertaining, but I don't think I can personally be a battle rapper because some things I don't think I'm going to be able to take. That's personally how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's battle rap, and it's pretty much off. Like it's it's. It's every there's nothing off limits. You can say whatever you want to say, and all that. Now, with that being said, okay. There are things that people say in battle rap, man. That's pretty like low key, crazy. Like if you listen to the words that some people say, some of that stuff is like low key pedophile. Like some say about their kids, like not just hurting the kids, but. I mean, I know some battle rappers talk about, like, young kids, like, sexually and stuff like that. If you really listen to some of these, like, lyrics of these people battle rapping. Now, they're battle rapping, right? But are they... It's just words, but you're saying it. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they really do it, I doubt it. I hope not. But they are putting it in their, in their rounds. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty crazy. You know, they talk about committing murder. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you think about that, that's crazy, right? Uh, but the N-word, I don't understand why people get so upset by that. I understand, like, the background and the past and how it's like, that's a word you just don't say. It's off limits. But I just think, for me, if I was about a rapper, okay, I just feel like that, especially if you're battling against somebody that's white, that should be in the contract. Say, yo, you can't say the N-word. That's personally how I feel because you know you're battling the opposite race, which is white or white or black. You're probably going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, like your background and talk about your culture and talk about, you know, the, the contrast of black and white. That's just the way most battle rap go, like, within that setting. So it was like, 
I just kind of feel like, too, that you can kind of tell the Avenue C, like, he was just, like, he kept thinking in the back of his head, like, man, is he going to say the N-word? Is he going to say the N-word? Like, he was waiting for it. And it's like, I don't know, man. I, I just think that if he's sensitive about that, he doesn't want, people, doesn't want white people to say the N-word, that should have been within the contract. Now, I see that end of this video, apparently William Wolf apologized and how he felt really bad and he didn't really mean it and he didn't really understand, you know, how, you know, black people may take it or African Americans may take it. But I didn't, I don't know, man. I mean, look, I'm on both sides, man. Like, I'm not trying to, if you feel some type of way about it and, yo, like that word, don't say that word off limits. Like, I respect that, you know what I'm saying, to a certain degree, because I do feel like that it's just some things that people just can't get over, and, and they and they stuck with it, and they just like, yo, just don't say that word. If he knew how he felt about that word, I don't think he would have said it. I mean, I personally don't think so, but he said it, you know what I'm saying, and he got punched right in the face. Um... I don't know, man. I just kind of feel like that that's kind of like, I mean, it, it's battle rap, though, bro. Like, what do you, if you didn't put that within the contract, say so you can't say that word, then why would you not put that in the contract? I mean, for you to punch a person in the face, that's almost like somebody saying something about your kids and you didn't put that in, in, in the contract because you know they're going to talk about your kids or a possibility. Put that in your, in your, and say, yo, don't talk about my kids. My mom, my dad, whatever. Don't talk about anything in my past, especially something that's personal, something that's, you know what I'm saying, that you went through. Put that within, that's how I feel like how it should be. So the whole moral of this whole video that I'm doing is like, bro, I don't know, you watching this, are you a battle rapper or you want to be a battle rapper? The contract. So you know, make sure you put what you don't want them to say within the contracts. If not, this is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, he got punched. To me, it was like more, more low of like a sucker punch. You know what I'm saying? It was a sucker punch. Um, but he didn't like it. And like I said, I respect that to a certain degree, man. But I just don't think that it's like, you know, they act like it's like the first time a white person said an N word in a battle rap. And then, not even just bro. There's stuff that's worse that white people said about black people in battle rap, that's, they didn't even use the N-word. They might as well use the N-word because it was worse. To me, it was worse than that. Come on, man, stop, bro. Like, what do we... What about your question? What's worse? Saying the N-word or saying that you want to kill somebody's kids? Hey, I take your daughter, grab her by the neck, and choke her until her face turn blue like a smurf. Like, or the N-word. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know which. what's worse. I'm just saying, man. But anyway, anyway, it's your boy CJ Swag CJ. Like I always say, stay beautiful, stay safe. Look at that, your boy Swag. Get it.